Hey everybody, we are back at the Anaheim Convention Center for DesignerCon 2022. This is the show we've been attending since well before Parks and Cons ever existed. We were going to the Pasadena Convention Center. It was a small show there, it became a bigger show there. It outgrew that location and moved over here to Anaheim and has just flourished ever since. It really has become one of our favorite shows of every convention season. It was a great comeback in 21. We've been here for a few hours here in 2022 checking it out and it is even better than that. So with that said, Take you around, show you some of the pop culture art fun at this year's DesignerCon 2022. This year at DesignerCon, Sony Pictures Animations here celebrating their 20th anniversary. So they're hosting the main uh, panel stage here. They've got all sorts of stuff from Sony, as well as hosting other artists there. Well, they've got a nice display too. So let's take a look at some of the art that they have up on the walls at the Sony stage. And even now, when I look at like the climax of the movie, I'm like, what the hell? Like, that <laughs> is just so much art. Like, 
it, the movie has got just so much art in it, like yeah. more than a movie. Well, and the textures and the way that the scenes go together. I mean, it's it, it's a moving art project the entire time, and it's mainstream as hell, which is insane. Those two normally don't live in the same right. universe. So, so look, the, a couple things to say about it is, I would say that I think one of the nice things about IP is I think it lets you be a little bit more bold. It kind of gives you I get that a little more license. You're you've already got the audience on your side. We've already got some buy-in. We've already got people rooting for us. So, like, and and I sincerely believe, like, whenever we talk anybody at our studio about like being bold, it's not because like, oh, we're so cool or we're so bold. It is good business, genuinely. I mean, yes, it is because we want to be bold and we want to surprise ourselves and everything. We don't want to be bored by what we're doing, but. Yeah, I mean, honestly, neither does the audience. Like, the audience, it's so obvious. The audience wants stuff that's new and different. Um, but it, it was scary at times on Spider-Verse because we were pushing so far beyond the normal look of an animated movie. And also, not just the look, like, it had dramatic intensity that's unusual for an, a mainstream theatrical animated movie. Like, you know, Miles watches his uncle Die right. from a gunshot in an alley. Like right. that's not the normal stuff of an animated film. Yeah, it's not like Dumbo's mom dipping out. Like no. it's it's full on oh, murder. But although that's actually a good point, Dumbo's mom like that's equally intense, right? Yeah. Like um, so so good on you for citing that. But so it was scary in a bunch of different ways. But we had a ton of support from my boss and from the studio, which was amazing. And a lot of it had to do with our producers, Phil Lord and Chris Miller because these guys are consummate, proven filmmakers, and as producers, they just kept the movie so close and, and shepherded us through everything, and I think people felt like, if Chris and Phil are here, it's gonna be okay. But as
art is at the center of all of Duke Designer Con. That said, they always do some great kind of separate displays that are curated. This one's going to be curated by Carmen Acosta, and it's called Out of Order. Let's take a look.